Okay, well, uh, well, this is my first commentary, and as well as my first video for my first LP ever. So, take it easy, Mionic. Like. And yeah, as you can see, that was Kingsville. I'm starting a new game, I've got some other saves, but that's for, like, well, older games. And yeah. The Cursed I'll Man you. lies deep in a dense, colorless forest. Hidden within this land is an ancient city, once known to the forest folk as the Holy Land. Buried in the depths of the city, a warning was discovered long after the rulers have fallen. Grave misfortune will befall those who behold the idol that stares into the darkness. The idol, taken from the ancient land, led the kingdom down a path of destruction. The idol must be returned. Under a dark and cloudy sky, the Swordmaster led his men to the ancient land. The cursed land swallowed the soldiers and all that remained was dark silence. Okay, well, as you can see, that was a cutscene. And I think, I'm pretty sure it's the only cutscene in the game, as CG wise. But here we are, starting off my game. Uh, I start off kind of rough here because I forgot that um, it doesn't save your controls from other saves. So, there's a spot right next to me where if I walk over it, I'll die. I did that the first time I played, I didn't know the controls, and you walk onto this little gray patch, and it collapses into lava. And pretty much everyone said that they played this game the first time, that they fell into that lava. It's, it's basically a beginner's trap. So, yeah. <laughs> but right here, I'm fixing my controls to what I'm used to. It's very dated controls, but this is also an old game. 2002, I think. But, a great game. Nonetheless. Yeah, not sure really what to talk about except the game. Because this is my first ever commentary. Um, I'm hoping people will like it. But I have no idea what to expect from the people. In other words, YouTube viewers. You guys who are watching this. Shop David Bunch. Uh, this is the uh, old village ruins down this way, and I just kind of head down here. Like it's the game seems slow at first. It's not for everyone. Uh, yeah, <laughs> kind of at a loss for words right here. There's a guy up here. You can talk to people. I'm from Heladen. My fellow soldiers went to the ruins. We were sent here to help rid the... Uh, blah, blah. Yeah, you can read it. <laughs> I don't know if I should narrate or not. No, when I'm watching LPs, I, I kind of... Other people's LPs, I'll, I kind of want them to read it. But something like this, where there's only like very little text in the game, I don't know. Uh, yeah. But I, I kind of slowed down a bit so I can give you guys a chance. You can always pause it if you want, but, you know, I don't know. Just just leave comments if anybody watches this, if you want me to narrate. And then in future videos, I will, what little talking there is in this game. Because there's very few NPCs. It's a very lonely feeling game, but it's awesome. The, uh, this game has a lot of atmosphere, and it's just... It's depressing, but it's it's just fun, and you know it's a kind of atmosphere I, I like. I mean, I'm not saying I like depressing things, but I'm you know I don't know. It just kind of fits my style, I guess. Not that I have a set style. <laughs> yeah, the fighting here is uh, it's slow, but it gets a lot more faster paced. 
you really have to kind of take your time with the fighting. And but it 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 also makes it a challenge, and it also makes it repetitive, especially when you have to go behind. Just basically, your bet, bet, best bet is to go behind enemies and hit them. There's some enemies later on that uh, will actually attack from behind as well as in front, so you kind of have to learn new tricks. But um, it doesn't take too long to learn this the way this game plays. But by, by the way, I'm not actually playing this game while I'm narrating. Um, I didn't. I wasn't able to get this program at the time I made this video, so I just kind of played it. Not, you know, thought I'd get this and then narrate over it, <laughs> uh, or commentary over it. Yeah, I go here. There's like a kind of a secret item here. Not really secret, too secret, but um, it helps if you start out with it. I guess it's a little more out of the way than other people would go to look. But yeah. Uh, um, I was just, I, I'm, I'm probably going to record uh, my narration while I play for further videos. Like I said, I wasn't able to get this. So, yeah. Um, sorry if my vocabulary is, uh, vocabulary is very short. I'm not a very smart person. Uh, as far as book-wise and stuff. So. And yeah. <laughs> See, there I go again. And yeah. So yeah, 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 sure. yeah, yeah. Here's a little chest to get on top of. Oh, uh, that other way you can go, you can go onto later, like further down the wall. Well, you can't really go down there later, but if you go down the wall, it'll collapse on you. But there's something on there, but you can get later on. I don't think I'll spoil it for you though. You get some gloves, and here I remember to actually equip my boots that I just picked up. Sorry, I was talking, trying to explain myself here. I, li I like how the, the equip system works. It shows it on your, your guy, and later on, when you find better better equipment, it just looks your guy just looks awesome. But you never really see what he looks like. Oh, and those that statue right there um, is a save point, and they are very rare, to say the least. <laughs> and you can see that I've got my save file or my. Uh, practice file in the middle there, and then on top is my old file from when I played it uh, a couple years ago. So, yeah. But those boxes and uh, the, the barrels, later on you'll be able to bust them open and sometimes find stuff in it. But, uh, there's a well there. You can go down it later, but you try it now and you'll just die. Probably shouldn't have said that, but, uh... If you are curious, then I'll just get go ahead and let you know. Um, don't worry, but I'll, I won't be fighting too much. I mean, I will, but I'll be like grinding in between videos. And uh, oh, he's got me there. Oh, he got me there. I kind of ran into him. I'll be grinding in between videos to, to level up because leveling up and grinding in this game is takes a while. And some battles I may, or I guess I should call them battles. I'm, I'm kind of copying someone here. I hope he doesn't mind. It's just I've learned a lot from him. And uh, if you want to know who he is, then just go to his channel, and I'll provide a link down in the uh, description. Uh, I, I, he's kind of not really my uh, my idol. Or my, oh, role model. There we go. I kind of look up to him with his LBs because he does some really good ones, and he's pretty funny too. But yeah, enough, enough worshiping him. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, uh, I'll edit out a lot of the fight here, fighting later on. Not here, but later on if it's like too tedious. But if I want to show you something, then I'll keep it in. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> and you can run in this game. Yeah, see, there are me running. There are me running. Me run far and fast. How? Yeah, that was a little racist racial error, but I don't care. I love people, but I hate them too. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, getting a little off topic here and off the game and offensive and so on. I had no idea that things were like, well, this year I'll I'll let I'll let you people choose. You people. It sounds so weird when I say that.
to the bridges up there. Oh yeah, little items down on the ground you can pick up, like you can stick it on the ground usually you pick out. Uh, I picked up one of the, one of those earlier and it's a herb. I'm trying to pick up this. I tried to pick up this one here and it was a little tough. And I didn't want to fall down because you fall down you die. But yeah, see the bridge is out there. We'll be able to get to there pretty shortly. But herbs will heal you, of course. And my health bar is that little round... Well, not really little, the uh, round round bar there. It's half full. A little over half full. That's my health. Uh, you'll be able to see more in the actual gameplay. Or my actual stat screen. What it, you know, number-wise, if you're curious. And the bar around it is uh, my magic bar. Which I won't have magic for a little bit. Not too long, but a little bit. And the bar, the red bar that keeps your filling and going down is my attack meter. Now, if you want to do more damage, then you want to attack while it's full. But if you attack like when it's like a little bit full or half full or something like that, you won't do as much damage damage as if you had it full. It can be a little tedious, but it also makes it where you don't just keep hacking and slashing away. And the one underneath it is for my magic, which I, as I said, said earlier, I don't have it. I don't have it yet but I actually get it later on. And uh, whenever you sprint, uh, the, the bar meters go down. And I don't know if you can see this, but a little meter down below it, but below both the both two bars is your um, air meter, because you can go underwater. You can't really swim, but you can go underwater. So and as you level up, your air meter will actually raise slightly. Not too much, I guess. I don't know. There's an item you can get later on for that. But uh, it's not really too useful because you, not a lot of swimming you do in this game. There's some parts, but yeah, probably shouldn't say any much more. So yeah, I'm, I'm about to get out of the village here. Don't don't worry. Coming back here, and and you can come back to these uh, non-player characters or NPCs, and they'll say different things at different times. Um, it, it it has a, a slight storyline, but a storyline nonetheless. And it's not the greatest storyline, but it, as you see, I kind of nodded my head there. Uh, it's not the greatest storyline, but it's still it's still storyline. It still progresses the game, but this game has I don't know the atmosphere and just the things you see in this game kind of add to the storyline even more than just the characters themselves which yeah I don't know I have a lot of long pauses here like I said that my first narration not really sure how to do it but I'm doing it the best way I can or the best way I know how to at this moment and the best way that I've kind of just picked up off other people's LPs and I guess you can say I'm a copycat but I'm only doing it for my own benefit uh, you know, I'm not trying to sound greedy there, but, you know, or rude, or like a, like a cheater, or something like that. I just, uh, I just learned from them. The, you know, people that I watched, I just learned from them. And I almost died there. And I'm trying to get to my menu. Use the herb, and it fills up my health bar. These things are a little annoying, but once you get, like, the side of them, they're pretty easy. Of course, just about every enemy drops gold. But yeah, I there's a lot of people here. Enemies, my bad, a lot of enemies here. So yeah, the video just cut off and yeah. Kinda didn't want it to cut off here. So I'll add some blankness along with my video, but I can't make it too much longer because yeah. <laughs> I keep saying yeah. Anyway. Um, I will do narration for my next video, and I hope you come back to watch the rest. And I plan on doing videos pretty often, and so on. Well, anyway, this video is about to run out, so I guess I'll talk to you later, I guess. Not really talk. Okay, bye.